I'm Katrina Thomas, and this is FAQs. I serve as Director of the Department of Planning, Engineering, and Permits, and we get a lot of frequently asked questions regarding our demolition process. All right, let's get into it. Why hasn't the house next door to me been torn down by the city? Good question. Most of these properties are privately owned. We can't just go tearing down people's houses. But once we perform an inspection and deem it eligible for demolition, we can possibly make it happen. Okay, what makes a house qualified for demolition? We get this question so much. Usually the house has to be damaged beyond repair. And we're, we're talking about the roof being damaged, the, a tree falling in, the house being burned more than 50%, um, the foundation being compromised or the house being severely damaged. If it meets those qualifications, then it becomes eligible for demolition. And the last question we get asked the most is, what is the city doing about all of this blight? And I hear you. Our inspectors are out every day inspecting these condemned properties. This year alone, our efforts have led to the demolition of over 100 structures. And not only that, we have sped up the process. It used to take us 42 months to get these structures down. Now with our current process, we're under 11 months. So we will get to the house that's near you. I'm Katrina Thomas, and this is FAQs.